So something interesting happened today. Let's talk about it. Gotta take the trash out first thing in the morning, you know? So something interesting happened today. I'm pretty sure my mattress is trying to kill me. You gotta dance when you hear the bell, man. You gotta dance. You gotta do it. Seems like every time I lay down on that mattress, it goes out of its way just to uh, torture me. You know, it's kind of like uh, ultimate fighting, you know? Two people go in, one person emerges the champion. And it wasn't me last night. Man, you gotta dance whenever you hear the bell. So it seems that uh, my mattress has been kind of falling apart the last several years. Um, it's kind of been sinking in and it wasn't very good to begin with. Unfortunately, the little springs and, you know, iron supports in the mattress has been kind of coming through. As a result, uh, every morning I wake up and I've got these little, looks like grill marks on my side, you know. Throw another snarky on the barbie. Like anything else, there's multiple grades of mattresses out there. You got your, your top tier and your bottom tier. And I'm pretty sure I sleep on the bottom tier of mattresses. Not even bottom tier, it's like subpar bottom basement. My best guess is that many nights laying awake on that mattress, passing bean curtain bouts of farts, has facilitated its need for revenge. Hello, I'm your mattress. You have farted on me for the last time. Prepare to die. That was a terrible Princess Bride impersonation. I should really be flogged for that one. So I woke up this morning and uh, my first reaction was, Yow! Kind of felt like I had been poked by a pencil or possibly an angry beaver. And I realized after I kind of woke up a little more that uh, I had a really good pain right in my side. By one of the springs in my bed just kind of went <laughs> poked me right in the side and uh, so I kind of had to put a band-aid there which is not always a good idea because when you have fur on your sides, it tends to stick when you pull it off. So what are you gonna do when your mattress sucks slightly more than Bella Lugosi? I mean, yeah, I probably should be buying a new mattress, but buying a mattress in China is kind of uh, an affair, really. I mean, you've got really two different price points of mattresses. You got your cheap bargain basement mattress that's about as soft as that and that'll run you about two to three hundred quad that's about 45 bucks us really not comfortable and then you got your what? creme de la creme level mattress which will set you back maybe three or four thousand quad that's about 600 bucks us and yeah you can find a mattress that's uh, a little more squishy but you'll pay for it Ultimately, my Band-Aid fix, much like the gaping wound my mattress has left in my side this morning, is just to take an old kid's sock and kind of packing tape it in just to kind of, you know, keep it from gouging or mauling me too bad as I sleep. This is not the best uh, procedure, not the best fix, but it'll work for now. So yeah, just like anything else in life, you have a choice. You can either put up with it and uh, hope things get better. They usually don't. Or you can do something about it. In my case, with my mattress, um, you know, I can only flip that thing over so many times. At this point, you know, uh, much like a fish out of water, no matter how many times it flops over, it's still pretty much dead. So yeah, I need to get a new mattress or possibly one of those mattress toppers, either way. I've slept about my last comfortable sleep on that mattress, I think. I think it's out to get me. So yeah, something interesting happened today. My mattress tried to kill me. Apparently I survived.